What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben. Thank you very, very, very much for stopping by and uh, checking out this new video. I really do appreciate every single video that you guys come by and check out, comment on, like, all that stuff. Just heck of a segue there, isn't it? <laughs> if you didn't mind hitting uh, a like on the video sometime during this video, maybe uh, you know subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, if this is the first video, welcome. Uh, my name's Ben and we talk about carts and stuff. <laughs> so uh, I kind of teased in the video Sunday that I was going to do a new product uh, video this Thursday and we are here to do that today. It's not so much a new product, but a new version of a product. And over here, I just got done removing one of the things from this cart over here because I am going to make a change over and we're gonna talk about C High Performance today and the new brake rotor from C High Performance. Okay, here we are. This is the brand new C High Performance brake rotor. And you're saying to yourself, but Ben, that looks really familiar. We've seen the C High Performance brake rotor before. And I will say, yes, you have. I have had many of them, as you're going to see. I, uh, I took the one off of this cart. I have another one off of another cart. I have different versions of the years. What is new about this rotor is what is going on internally. So if you are unfamiliar with the C High Performance rotor, it is two discs. So we have steel discs on the outside, kind of standard looking, but what's special is what's going on inside. There is an aluminum inset to both of these, which aids in cooling. And that is the what is new about this brand new rotor from C High Performance. So I'm going to dive up close. Uh, I got the nice spread going on here on my, uh, on my, on my workbench. It's actually really decent in here in New York for once. Uh, <laughs> spring has happened and we got some decent weather so I don't mind being out here. And we're gonna dive up close and give you a peek at what is going on with this new rotor. Okay, here we are dove up close and we are going to be taking a peek at these different versions of the C High Performance brake rotor. Now, um, as I was laying these out, the metal brake material has been the same all these years. So that same layout, that same that same style of venting and everything is the same, but what has changed is down here. Now, uh, I will say that I don't know which one of these came first. Uh, if it was this slotted style, this is the, the one that I was running on my scythe last year. I think as this is the newer the newer of the styles. I think this was the style before. So this just allowed for a whole bunch of we'll, we'll take the, the outside and we'll put it on here. It just allowed for a ton of air to get in there and and wing around. And then obviously this one a little tighter of a of a design. So it was going more straight through instead of just a you know a big area of they and I, I they worked fine i obviously I, I used the crap out of them there's there's no reason but what chris says is with these higher horsepower things we needed better uh braking we we needed he needed to update especially the insert and this is what we have for the insert now that is a piece of machinery right there i really really like this um and take a look at this kind of head on. Here's the vents coming out. So that's taking in air. If I could pick it up, I'll put this on here. All right. It's taking in air from the inside and then cooling both sides of the of the steel at the same time i think that is wicked cool with these with these bigger high horsepower engines you know everybody's uh now they're going up to 300 cc uh two strokes in uas and you know the obviously the big jawas and all that um you're you need to keep your brakes cool you need a lot of woe for a lot of go so uh, I just thought I'd bounce down here and I'd show you the different versions. They all work well. I believe even, I don't know what the inset looked like on the original. I think I had the original and the original 
to have it, it was just a plain round so it wasn't this this toothed version but it was a round one and i think i want to say it had this inset and then it was just a round so you know uh so it may have gone if i'm if i'm reading this correctly it may, it may have gone this one this one and obviously now this is the new uh the best of the best the the, the best venting possible um so far from C high performance. So just really cool. I love design aspects like this. And I even got, I don't know how long ago he updated stickers, but look at that. That is freaking wicked. So <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, really, really cool stuff. If you are, you know, planning on running UAS, if you're looking to get into high horsepower karting, you're gonna need bigger brakes. You don't, don't ever run those mini lights. Um, you know, just with a single blade on there, it's, it's not enough. Um, you know, I, I don't mind running bigger brakes, even on like KT 100s and stuff like that. It, it, I don't, the rotational way I, you could, there's an argument to be made for it, but also, you know, it's, it's always nice to have something when you go for your pedal, uh, going in the corner or something happens in front of you, you got some way to stop. Right. So, uh, there you go. We're going to bounce up top and, uh, get out of here. So there you go, uh, the new C High Performance. I see, <laughs> do you know how hard I make an effort to say Chris's last name correctly? Evan C, Chris C. I am a Northerner. I say C, say his, when I'm referencing to people up here, it is say, and they know who I'm talking about. But I know it, I guess I'd be mad if somebody said Tift or Tahaft. Or, you know, pronounce my name wrong. So, I don't know that Chris is mad. He's kind of used to it and everything. But it is C High Performance as an S-E-A-C. It's S-E-A-Y. So, it's, it's C, say, C, whatever. But anyway. Also, if you want to go to C High Performance, I'm going to tag them down below as I do anytime I feature anything. You know, whether it be a prep or a, a company or this and that. The drop-down menu will have the link to their website. If you go to see High Performance, you're going to be able to uh, get in contact with Chris. They sell, obviously, wedge bodies, W-E-J wedge bodies. I believe he coined that name. Um, they have the ability for carbon fiber side panels, carbon fiber wings, front wings. Of course, the nose cones the are, you know, they're, they're kind of the benchmark for what a good UAS nose should be. You can mount a wing on the front of it. I, you know, like I've said, I've run them for years. I have, I have plenty that I've destroyed up here. If you could see my rafters here, I'm looking at two or three right here that I've done a number on. It's not a judge on, uh, on the way they're built. It's just that this guy has a habit of uh, I don't wreck people. I don't, I don't think I wreck people. No, he didn't slam you. He didn't bump you. He didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And Robinson is racing. People, but I happen to get in some skirmishes. People just find their way around and I'm in it. I, I don't know. Bad luck. You call it what you will. They they do last. They will take a beating, but uh, everything has its breaking point. And I'm, I'm pretty, I think my old man told, uh, told somebody one time that I could break an anvil with a feather and he very well might be right. I, I am rough on stuff. So if you need products tested for uh, durability, I'm your guy, uh, but all kidding aside, that's why I run brake rotor from C High Performance. It, it is never, I've never had brakes fail on me. That rotor has never got glowing on me. It has worked every single time. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I was, I was kind of debating what to do, go with another track tag. I was like, man, I got this in the mail. And I was just like, you know what? We're gonna do a new product release. I, I know he's kind of been sending it out and everything like that, but um, I really wanted to feature this because uh, Chris is a super dude, uh, very supportive of the class that I participate in. And I thought you guys might like this video as well. So there you go. All right, guys, I, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you Sunday as always. All right, later.